Hi guys, Pikachu Hunter here, and today I am bringing you the deck I'm going to be playing at Regionals. You will already recognise the deck, because I have already done a deck tech on this deck that is very similar, but I've had to obviously change the deck up to make it a bit more competitive. So you, if you have seen the previous video, which I'll link in the description down below, um, here's Del um, I, I play four Del Fox and two Breaks turn. And I'll show there's a difference with the Fennekin in a second, but for Dal Fox. Uh, Dal Fox has the attack, which is what we're focusing on in this deck, is Psy Storm, which does 20 times the amount of energy attached to all Pokemon in play. And that is my laptop going bonkers. Sorry. Just put you on the side of that. Uh, attached to all Pokemon in play. Um, this is a very, very powerful attack, especially against uh, Pokemon like Mega Mewtwo and, Rayqua and Mega Rayquaza. Uh, and Mega Audino as well, actually. Now, it struggles against decks like... Well, mainly against water decks, but really struggles against decks like um, Greninja or... Not just Greninja, though... I'm trying to remember now, uh, what's the other deck that I want to forget the other day. Uh, it struggles against Greninja. Glaceon is not much of a problem. You can deal with it, but it is a struggle. As well as... Um, basically, yeah, this deck is a lot more powerful <laughs> than it was. Uh, the two breaks, which you can use secondary attack, which is Crackling Ribbon. Yeah. Crackling Ribbon, which is, uh, which is destruct and has Destructive Flame, but Crackling Ribbon does 30 damage for a two color synergy. Can't really do much with that. But it is good if you if it's the only form of damage you can get off and your defines are weak to you. Next we have four Fennekin. As you can tell, all four are the same Fennekin now if you know if you have seen the previous video. Uh, they are all the tail whip Fennekin. Because you can use a tail whip and it's really good for disrupting the opponents if they are struggling for cards. Uh, not struggling for cards, struggling to do anything off the bat. So if you're able to get that heads on the tail flip, uh, on the tail whip flip, uh, that's a mouthful. If you're able to get the heads on this, it is flip a coin. If heads, the vending Pokemon can't attack during the opponent's next turn. Obviously, there are ways around it, but it is a good way to protect yourself and buy time. So there's four Fennekin, two breaks, and four Dow Fox. Not much of a change there, other than the difference in Fennekin. Uh, next up we have Xerneas Break, which is a new addition to the deck. Has these hat live stream. Does 20 damage times the amount of energy attached to all of your Pokemon. So basically, this is the exact same as Delphox, but for your energy only. It is a really great combo this. I have played it countless times online and it works like a charm. Um, it does work better with Shaman, though, which, as much as I hate to admit that, it does work a lot better with Shaman. But, uh, yeah, Delph, uh, Delphox. Zenith's Break, uh, great addition to the deck, and I'm glad I added it in. And we also run to Zenith's to go with that Zenith's Break. Uh, obviously, Zenith's has the attacks Geomancy and Rainbow Spear. The Geomancy, choose two of your base Pokemon for each of those Pokemon. Search your deck for a Fairy Energy card and attach it to that Pokemon. Shuffle your deck afterwards. So, very good attack, especially to accelerate energy in this deck, and we run two of them. Obviously, with this deck, you're aiming to start off with Xerneas, so if you're going, especially if you're going seconds, because if you can start off with Xerneas going second, that is really helpful. You accelerate your energy faster, but you take slower evolving, but it's fine if you can keep your Pokemon protected, which I, you could do by putting in, if you can get Shaman in this deck, you only need more than one. That is simply put. If you can get Shaman in the deck, you only need one. Uh, because you can replace the other card with Mr. Mime. Which is, yes, a bench sitter like Shaman, but it protects your bench. So, say for example, you've got three Fennekin on the bench, one in the active, just if the Dow Fox put you against Greninja. If you have the, if you have the um, is it attacks? I don't remember if it's attacks, but... I'm pretty certain if you can have the uh, Mr. Mime and Bench, your Pokemon are pretty much protected. But anyway, moving on, we have obviously my usual Ram Raid and Artillery. 
As I said, if you can replace this with Shaman, do so. I can't because I don't have any, but this deck is a lot better with Shaman, and that really hurts to admit. Uh, Artillery has the attack hug, which you can't really use. It has nice 90 HP. Uh, Wild uh, Remoraid has the attack Wild River. It's really helpful if you don't want to discard that energy. Obviously, though, if you don't want, if you've done everything you can in that turn, then you would Wild River into say you would retreat to Xerneas. But if you don't want to lose Remoraid, uh, if you don't want to lose Xerneas, but you don't want to exactly, if you don't want to lose your turn from attacking, basically, I'm really struggling for words and don't know why. Uh, then obviously you wouldn't Wild River. You'd have to retreat with the energy. But we both we won uh, Ram Raid and Artillery. And that's it for the Pokemon. So the Pokemon are pretty much the same, but two different changes. Obviously, Fennekin has been switched out for the two of the exact same one that is already in there. And uh, for the Talwith one, and uh, Zenith Break has been added in. Next up, we have 4N. Now, obviously, this is majorly different compared to the last one, because it used to be 3 Shauna, 2N, 1 Sycamore. Now we got 4N in this, so yeah. You can imagine where the Shaunas went. Obviously, with this deck, you got enough acceleration with Xerneas Break. You don't want to be f jumping, making it worse, by playing too many Sycamore. Got each ear. Uh, yeah, you don't want to make it worse by playing too many Sycamore. Because if you do that, you're going to end up decking yourself out within a matter of minutes. <laughs> well, I say minutes. You deck yourself out by the fourth turn. Let's just say that much. Because the majority of your deck is an energy, but if you end up having to Sycamore, 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 you're going to lose all your cards. I'm sorry, you are. But yeah, and uh, if you don't know what it does, each player shuffles their hand into their deck and then, draw and then draws... One for each of their remaining prize cards. And I say there because it's his and her, his and her, his and her. It's really annoying, so I say there. So, yeah. So, we run 4N now. And we also run 2 Sycamore. Obviously, Sycamore, I only ran 1 before. I'm having to, I'm having to run 2 because... Really, playing Sycamore is almost a necessity in a competitive deck. And with this deck not being very competitive without Shaman, then obviously I have to go with the best I can. Next up, we have two Bridget. With it being a non-EX deck, Bridget is really useful in this deck, especially at the start of a game. If you can pull off a first turn Bridget, you are absolutely gangster. I'm joking, but still. If you pull off first turn Bridget, you will be saving your own life because then, if you are stuck, if you are stuck with Fennekin in the active, you can get a uh, Fennekin, a Remoraid, and a Xerneas, and then when that Fennekin in the active is gone, you can put the Xerneas up. Obviously, um, if you don't know what it does, though, it says it said the, the wording on the card is search your deck for a one basic Pokemon EX or three basic Pokemon, except for Pokemon EX, and put them onto your bench. Shuffle your deck afterwards. Obviously. Um, this deck doesn't run any form of Pokemon that says if you play it from your hand to your bench, uh, you have to play it from your hand to your bench, luckily. But, obviously that wouldn't work with some Pokemon, say Shaman. So that's why you don't use it, Shaman. Next up we have two Ninja Boy. If you don't start off with a Bridget first turn, it's fine. You, but if you don't want to attack, uh, if you don't want to lose your Fennekin, that, say that turn, because you know you, you, you haven't gone first in the entire game... Don't want to lose your Fennekin. Best thing to do is Ninja Boy into a Xerneas and get your Xerneas set up and ready to go. Obviously, if you get a Metal Deck, then uh, survive. <laughs> uh, just survive. But Ninja Boy is a good addition to the deck. Obviously, as well, if you do run Shaman in this deck. Now, it's a two Ninja Boy either way, but if you did run Shaman in this deck, Ninja Boy would help with Shaman, sh Shaman starts. As well as, if you end up with Remoraid on the bench early game, if you're lucky enough, um, you could end up with Artillery being, being prized more than likely. So the best thing to do is, instead of uh, Remoraid sitting there being an easy prize, shuffle it back into your deck. And bring out, say, a Fennekin to Ninja Boy, uh, to Rare Candy, to a Delphox, for example. Or bring out another Xerneas. Next up, we have two Lysanders. Uh, you should know what Lysander does if you are, obviously, but if you're new to the TCG, um, 
Switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with one of his or her active Pokemon. So basically, Zerny, if the opponent is running a Fairy deck, they've got a Xerneas up front, you can go, no, I want your Guard of YEX or something like that. You, you get one going with this. But yeah, two Lysander. One Skylar now, because obviously... Oh yeah, by the way, that's another change as well. There's two Ninja Boy, whereas before there was only one. Uh, one Skylar, again, before there was two. Um, I could only find a space for one now, sadly. I, I would I would really love to have more than one, but it's really helpful just to have one, really. Um, next up, we have one Pokemon Ranger. The main deck you are going to struggle with this deck, if it's a locking form of deck, is... Glaceon. Now, obviously, people are playing Vileplume, Glaceon, and Jolteon, which is quite scary because I have no Hex in this deck, but um, Pokemon Ranger really helps against Glaceon decks because without it, you would end up being locked out of your own deck. Well, you'd be, out, you'd be locked out of attacking altogether because if you haven't noticed, this deck is an evolution deck. <laughs> See the problem, guys? Anyway, next up we have three Fairy Garden. I wanted to run four to make it a bit more consistent so you'd win the Stadium War, but I couldn't find the space for the fourth. Obviously, you can take out energies if you want, but they are your source of power as well as... Well, you can't run an odd number of energy in this deck, let's say that. I tried running it with an odd number and it did not work out. Uh, if you know what Fairy does, though, it, Fairy Garden does, it, each Pokemon has a Fairy Energy attached to it, both yours and your opponent's has no retreat cost. So you could help your opponent. Bear in mind it works with any card really that way. But you could potentially help your opponent by playing Fairy Garden if they run Fairy Energy. Oops, sorry guys, not the camera. Mr. Clumsy here. Mr. Clumsy. So, free Fairy Garden. Next up, we have free Loverball. Search your deck for a Pokemon 90 HP or less, reveal it and put it into your hand, shuffle your deck afterwards. Last time I checked, both of them, 90 HP. 60 HP. Well, Run Raid 60, Octillery 90, Breaks an 80. Pretty much your entire deck, every card in this deck, near enough, is less than 9, near enough every Pokemon in this deck, I should say, is less than 90 HP. Both your Breakson's or free your Fendikin, both your Run Raid and Artillery. The only Pokemon you cannot get out with Level Ball is Xerneas, uh, is both Xerneas's, Xerneas Break, and the Dalfoxes. So, you can see how Level Ball is quite essential. And obviously, we run free Ultra Ball to pull off the whole Rare Candy Dalfox deal. Um, don't know what Ultra Ball does, it is discard two cards from your hand, if you do so, if you can't discard two cards, you cannot play this card, if you do so, um, search your deck for a Pokemon, reveal it, shuffle your deck afterwards. Obviously, this is a very good card in this deck, if you say need your Xerneas up, because it is, because Xerneas Break as well, it acts as a good straight out attacker, uh, straight away attacker, because you're accelerating your energy. Straight off the bat, pretty much. You need your energy out from the get-go. You can be sat there powering up your brakes and defending team for like the first three turns. And by the time they are fully powered up, you're doing, say, 180 damage with Xerneas Break. You evolve into Xerneas, you can evolve into Xerneas Break, and then when you do, you're doing that 180 off the bat. Not off the bat, up pretty much, but... It, it, you, you see where I'm going with this. At least I hope you do, because I certainly don't. <laughs> now, nah, but seriously, um, Xerneas Break is a really good addition to the deck, and hopefully, if I can get recording for you guys, yeah, uh, if I got a recording for you guys yesterday, um, yeah, Rare Candy. Choose two. Choose one of your po basic Pokemon in play. If you have a Sage Two card in your hat, basically. You can skip breaks and evolve into Delphox. I'm not even going to read the card. I memorise the others. Don't know this one off my heart. If you got a Fennekin in play, you play Rare Candy. You select, You have to have Delphox in hand though. So it works in conjunction with Ultra Ball. But you can Rare Candy into Delphox. But it, all it does is enables you to skip this Stage 1 evolution here. And jump into this evolution. Coming to the end of the row guys. We have two... Via Seeker. 
I only own two. I wish I could play more, but I really can't find the A the room and B really yet yeah, all these cards are essential. Surprisingly. You could probably drop or end, drop an end to get in the third, but you don't really want to do that. Next up we have Energy Recycler. This is a shuffling your basic energy. Because it is, it shuffles five basic energy cards from your discard pile into your deck. If you run low on energy because you've had to discard it in some way or form, Sycamore. Uh, <laughs> sorry guys, I am really clumsy. Um, this gets it all back for you. Without it, it the deck would run itself into the ground because your Pokemon are going to get knocked out at some point or another. You run out of energy, you run out of energy. You can't deal with that in any other way. Coming to the end, guys, I'm running out of room on this play map. I'm trying to get in the camera as well, so it's a bit harder. Fudgy now, it's like the fourth time, isn't it? Uh, guys, I'm going to have to start putting these off to the side. Um, Super Rod. Um, shuffle three in any combination of Pokemon and basic energy cards from your discard pile into your deck. Now, with the release of Brock's Grit from Evolutions, I've already been playing it with that online, and... It's so much better than Super Rod. The fact that you can keep reusing it with VSC Cat makes it even better. So I recommend when they do make Evolutions um, legal for tournament play. Or at least most of the cards. <laughs> when they make most of the cards legal for tournament play, I recommend you replace Super Rod with Brock's Grit because it is amazing. If not, Karen. Either Brock's Grit or Karen. And obviously we have Special Charge, which is Shuffle 2 Special Energy Cards from your discard pile. Into your deck. I've run out of rope. Yeah. So supercharge and special and special charge and super rod. Wrong way around. We have one fairy drop. Obviously, before there was two. Um, without it, you can't really fairy drop is really helpful with sec. You can ditch it if you really wanted to, but it is harder said than done, as the saying goes. But yeah, uh, one fairy drop and one weakness policy. Oh, by the way, fairy drop, you heal 50 if you've got a fairy you attached to that Pokemon. Uh, yeah, weakness policy. There are, there are a lot of, well, I say a lot. There's a couple of major decks out there that this deck has quite weak, big weaknesses to. Uh, Dale Fox is weak to water with it being a fire type. Uh, obviously... Weakness policy protects you against Glaceon, Regira, uh, Regirock, Regiice, and so on. Uh, there's so many water decks that can obliterate Dale Fox. It's unbelievable. Especially now with the release of Evolutions and Spirit Leaks for both Bla for Blastoise, so, uh, uh, for Blastoise uh, Charizard, and Venusaur. This deck is going to have fun. Obviously, Xerneas uh, is weak to Metal, so does Xerneas Break. Uh, with the with Sizzle, with Mega Scissor around, Zenis Zenis Break are screwed. This is what this put in, it, this was what was this was originally put in for, but it turned out it works well with the Dale Fox as well. Originally, I did try it with two and running no Fairy Drop quite a while back with the old build of it, but um, yeah, it did not work out very well. But yeah, with uh, Xerneas uh, being weak to Metal, you attach this to Xerneas. And that weakness goes. Attach it to Delphox, that weakness goes. Uh, the water weakness goes, so on and so forth. So you're protecting yourself either way. Depends on who gets it first, so it really does. Obviously, if it's a metal deck, you put it onto Xerneas. If it's a if it's a water deck you're against, though, you put it onto Delphox. Sadly, though, it'll only work for one. It'll only work for one Delphox, so make it count. <laughs> As I say, make it count. I'm trying to get cards on here. So yeah, one weakness policy, and finally we're on to the energy. We run four DCE as of before to obviously power up Dale Fox quicker without having to take that extra turn longer. And obviously one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight fairy energy. Before we ran ten fairy energy, we had to ditch two. Sadly, I am. Very sadly admitting that I had to ditch two energies out of this deck to make space for other cards like VS Seeker. Um, 
that, guys, was a deck. Oh, I forgot to mention. <laughs> Forgetting a lot of things today. I'm half asleep, guys. I'm, I'm staying up as it is. Uh, via Seacat. Uh, yeah, that was the addition. That's why I had to take two angels out for. But yeah, guys, that's the deck I am playing at Worlds. And I hope you enjoy it. This will probably go up for Deck Tech Sunday this week. Um, which will be the 6th. It'll go up 3pm. I don't know why I'm saying it on this video, because that's the time I'm uploading it, simply. But, um, if you checked out my schedule video, you'll know my schedule. Or at least should know my uploading schedule for YouTube. Uh, I'll try and keep as consistent with that as possible. Uh, links in the description down below to Facebook, Twitter, and my new website. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.